do you listen when you can't hear an answer? How could Michelle and John look at their three-year-old little girl? Pink for my color. And yellow and purple. And, and accept she only has five years left. Well, we'd be sitting inside in a room full of kids with leukemia and all different cancers. There was no one in that room with what Alicia had. Doctors in Ireland saw the tumors in her brain and her spine. Her parents saw hope. Alicia has ATRT, a rare form of brain cancer with no cure. She's been through brain surgery and chemotherapy, but that's the end of what doctors in Dublin have to offer. And they were literally just printing off something and sending it back to Dublin and said, try this. That's the way it was, you know, so we felt, you know, that's not the best treatment that Alicia can receive. During the year and a half of Alicia's battle, Michelle and John found that Dana-Farber here in Boston is one of the only hospitals researching the disease. We made a decision if we're going to travel, it's going to be Boston. It's going to be the Dana-Farber and that's it. So they turned the next page of their lives and found themselves living in Hanover with the host family, here for however long it takes. Oh, oh my God, get over here. Oh, you did monkey. You did little monkey. She doesn't dwell on anything. She, she just tries to drive on like any kid, you know. She doesn't sit there. If it was me, <laughs> be kind, you know. She, she gets up, she goes. So Michelle and John take their cue from a three-year-old. Because even though they can't hear an answer, how can they not listen to this? For the Boston Herald, I'm Katie Eastman.